It's gonna eat! to get myself together like I said it's a brand new day and I have a few errands to run I really just need to go to the post office and the grocery store I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's but yeah I'm about to go ahead and shower do my hair wash my face go on some athleisure wear and head out the door
I don't understand how some people don't brush their teeth. Like, it just feels so good and refreshing when your teeth is like, when your mouth is fresh. My God. And then even like mouthwash. I know there's like a little debate whether or not you should use mouthwash or not, but. I don't know, but mouthwash, baby. I just be having my mouth just feel so fresh and clean, my God. Now let's get into the skin, my kinjas. I'm about to go ahead and cleanse my skin. I'm gonna be using this jelly cleanser from Coco Khan, so shout out to them for sending this to me. It has natural AHs in it from hibiscus flower acids and fermented grapes. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for the past week and a half now, and as you can tell, my skin has not had any issues and then i'm going to be using this silicone applicator face cleansing applicator that i got from pmt beauty so shout out to them for sending this to me i absolutely love it i am so hyped about this because it just definitely took my skincare to the next level okay this that right here is a silicone bristles that i use to obviously cleanse my face this has four different modes so it caters to all skin types and what's really dope about this is this gemstone right here acts as an active warm heat there Therapy massager and I absolutely love it especially after applying like your serums and moisturizers oh my god it feels so good so this is really dope I absolutely love this too because it came with this like cute acrylic stand so the aesthetics is definitely giving in the bathroom but yeah first things first cleanser and if you haven't yet got you a pair of these you're definitely missing out. It makes your skincare routine go so much smoother because you don't have to worry about all that water running down your arms and stuff like that. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront, so I'll leave that link directly down below in the description box. I've been trying to take my skincare a lot seriously lately because you know I'm getting a little older baby baby but, but let's not get it twisted I'm still young fresh and tender but I'm getting a little older so I want to like be more cautious of how I take care of myself and then I'm going to be using this antioxidant facial treatment from Kales this also has a H in it which is lactic acid and that is going to keep your skin looking glowy and smooth by reducing pores and fine lines mm -hmm. and you want to focus on your like cheeks um, your chin, your forehead, you want to just kind of dab that in. And you want to just let your skin absorb that and then you go in with your serum, serums and moisturizer. So for my serum, I'm going to be using this Velvet Skin Drink from Caress. This skin, I mean not the skin, yeah this skin drink, it's called skin drink for a reason, Velvet Skin Drink. Definitely be having my skin look glowy. Okay, glowy and healthy. I'm going to be mixing it with this Kale's um, facial cream. Can y'all see? This is the Kale's facial cream. There we go. Massage that in. Oh, yeah. Talk to me. I just love loving on myself because who else gonna do it? Who else gonna do it? And you wanna make sure you always go upwards to the sky because you want your face to stay lifted. And you don't want your skin to, you don't wanna drag your skin down, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
and that concludes honestly my just like everyday go to daily everyday daily same thing but like my daytime skincare routine and I'm about to go ahead and just straighten my hair and then we're gonna hurry up and head out the door my coffee machine is ass right now so I'm about to go downstairs and utilize my amenities go to the Lisa office and get me a cup of coffee chow that I've been having my eye on are like $250, $300 and I'm not willing to pay that right now so in the meantime I'm going to go downstairs and get my coffee from the office. Oh, so good. Now I've been drinking cold brew coffee but today I'm just in the mood for some hot steamy coffee. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go ahead and moisturize my feet because my feet is giving a lot, a lot of the ashy. And y'all, I'm not trying to be funny. I know they gifted me this stuff, but I absolutely, the stuff that I use and the stuff that I show y'all, I love. Now, I get gifted a lot of stuff, and if I don't like it, I'm just not going to share it. So I take my time, you know what I'm saying? I like to try products to see how I like it. Some brands reach out to me like, huh, we sent you this a month ago. I'd be like, I know. I know you sent this a month ago, but I'm trying to get a feel for it. I'm trying to see if I like it. Y'all not in Okay, these are gifted stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, this right here was two gifted by Kales. This is their Creme de, Creme de Corpse <laughs> body lotion. And this is so creamy, so moisturizing. I wish they could send this to me in like a bigger bottle, but I carry this everywhere I go. And I just love to use this thing. You never gotta worry about your Kendra going ashy after um, using this stuff. Loving on me, taking care of me. Loving on me, taking care of me. Loving on me and taking care of me. What that remind me of? Put it on and make him wanna marry me. I said, put it on and make him wanna marry me. Look, putting on motion, taking care of me. I'm kidding, I'm so horny. Sense of the day, let's get into my sense of the day. I'm going to be using hmm, Floral Berries by Dozier. Dozier. Um, I'm going to leave a code link down below for you guys to use when you check out. But I love Dozier perfumes because they are um, inspired by luxury perfumes and you can get them for a fraction of the price. So this Floral Berries is inspired by Jo Malone's Peony and Blush Suede. Smells so good. Definitely giving me fruity, you know, say airy, fruity, soft girl vibes. This you don't need too much. Five, five sprays is enough. Normally I do about 10 or 12, but the five sprays is enough. So, so good. And um, yeah, let me hurry up and call my car and head out the door so we can get back in the house and get some work done. Because the Kendra's got to do what a Kendra's got to do. No, seriously. I'm looking for a part-time J-O-B. Yeah, Kendra's going to be a busy gal. She's going to be working on promoting her wigs, working a part-time job, and on top of that, creating content for myself and you guys. So, yeah. Wish me luck. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and make my um, grocery list. I'm trying to imagine... How, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm trying to imagine how Trader Joe's is set up right now. If they didn't change it again, I was so mad. I went in there one day and then they changed the layout. I said, Why is this over here? Why is the bread all the way where the milk is at and it used to be in the front of the stove? Anyways, I know I need some water, so H2O. I didn't tell you guys because I was gonna give you guys like an update later on in the vlog, but I guess we'll just like throughout the vlog talk. Um, I'm on a cleanse, so I'm not drinking alcohol. It's been um, eight days now, so I'm not drinking any alcohol, and I'm, I'm not doing hookah. And I'm trying to just, like, really be strict about what I eat and drink. So um, I'm drinking nothing but water. I do have my coffee in the morning, but one cup of coffee, that's it. And then um, no juices. 
the only juice that I do have is the pure 100% cranberry juice, that bitter, nasty cranberry juice. That's if I crave something other than water, I'll drink that. But yeah, so I'm trying to be very like cautious of like what I eat because I really do too want to slim down. I feel like I'm getting a little puffy, you know, and I'm too short, too too petite to be puffy. But um, yes, yeah, so I want to feel my best. I want to look my best. And that's what I'm working on right now. So I need some water. I need some more water. I can't stay away from cheese. Your Kendra love her some cheese, okay? Go ahead, call my car so I can head out of the door. So I'm gonna make me a nice old tuna salad salad. Tuna salad salad. So I'm gonna put my tuna on top of my salad. It's gonna be a Caesar salad. I used to be an albacore girl, but now I just love me some good old fashioned Tuna, tuna and water, not tuna and oil. I don't like that. Come on now. I need to give me some more mayo. Add me some spicy Dijon mustard. Add me some banana peppers. Put a little bit of Caesar dressing up there. Just a little bit. That's enough. Can't forget the, the feta cheese. You don't need it, but... I ain't letting go of the cheese. I don't care what I got going on in life. I'm not letting go of this damn cheese. Hmm. Oh, okay. Here, here, here. I'm waiting. I called me an Uber. My put, I put two locations. I put the post office and then to Trader Joe's. Every time I put more than one destination, it takes forever. Stop. It takes forever for them to pick up a freaking car for me. successfully get into these groceries. Cinnamon raisin bagel, a must have. I never have too much water because I'm not drinking nothing but water. On ground turkey, pastured, pastured eggs, yogurt, shrimp, turkey bacon, almond milk, butter, feta cheese, guacamole, egg whites, two bags down, three bags to go. They never have kale. Spring mix, please, peppers, Banana, potatoes, onion, peanut butter, no salt, apples, pickle chips, we think it's a bomb, parmesan cheese, blue berries, tomatoes, salmon, dunker cookies, oatmeal cookies, vanilla ice cream, mozzarella cheese, spinach, granola, chocolate, brown sugar, caramel sauce, 
Tuna in white. I mean tuna and um, water. Dijon mustard. Non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. I'm going to be using it in my smoothies. I got pumpkin flavor because tis the season to be motherfucking spooky. That's actually pretty darn good. I don't understand why people don't like pumpkin flavor stuff. I should have had some more pumpkin flavor stuff. They had some pumpkin muffins. I should have some more pumpkin flavored stuff. But yeah, that's all the stuff that I got from Charita Joe's and my tag came was $158. And I think that's really good for all the stuff that we got right here. Look at that. Really good. This stuff is gonna last me at least like two weeks. Y'all, when I was in New York, I went to dinner. One of the nights I went to dinner with one of our friends, I spent $175. Like the tab, we split the tab. We split the tab. So it was $175 each that I spent at a damn restaurant in the city of Manhattan for a plate of food, a plate of food, one cocktail, and a hookah. We shared the hookah. But yeah, and I got all of this for less than $175. That's gonna last me two weeks. See, if you gotta put things to perspective. to make dinner and I can't seem to like multitask with the camera and my phone so I'm gonna just record a reels because I really want to do a reels and um if y'all want the recipe y'all gotta follow me on Instagram <laughs> okay just got finished oh that sun is sunny i just got finished showering i'm about to go get my nails done my claws because they look a hot mess y'all about to see three different designs in this vlog that's how long i have not posted a vlog which is so damn sad but we about to go get our nails done okay so i made it back home and i got my nails done this is dedicated to DV, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I got the um, the purple ribbon right here. And yeah, these are my nails for the month. I think they're so cute. Which later on in the day. And uh, I went ahead and I did my lashes. I washed my hair. I had to snatch that wig off because that wig was like a mess. It was on my head for like a good week and a half or two. And it was just time to come off. And I did my lashes. What y'all think? I think they look pretty good. I like the spikes. They look really good. I'll leave a link, a direct link down below in the description box for you guys who are interested in DIY lashes. These are cluster lashes, by the way. And I went ahead and I relaxed my edges as well because I'm like, I think I need a break from the wigs. When I wash my hair, obviously, I see this again. And I'm like, okay, Najee, you just be forgetting about your whole little skin. And I need to just figure out how can I get my skin back to an okay space or my complexion back. Because my skin is great. My skin looks awesome. It's just the discoloration. I got to figure out how can I get my skin back to where it needs to be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and order me some tapes. And I'm going to start wearing tape ins um, during this little cleansing season. I'm just going to give myself a break from the wigs. Yeah, I think I want to do some tapes. I think that's what I'm going to do. These wrinkles in my neck, y'all. I don't know why my neck gets so wrinkly like that. Like, it makes me look bigger than what I actually am. Or maybe I'm just, I just got too much. I don't know. But I saw this one girl, she got fillers in her neck. And all of her wrinkles in her neck went away. I said, oh yeah, baby, I need that. I need that. There's a lot of things that I kind of want to do. I want to do, I want to get fillers in my neck. I want to balance out my face. 
And I think what I'm going to do is make this side look more like this side and just like chisel this. I think that's what I want to do. I don't know. What side y'all like better? Y'all like the left side or the right side? It's the left side. It's the right side. More slimmer or like the more rounded. And then I can just like tuck that in or I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and just blow dry my hair. But yeah, Amazon Prime is having big deal days. Big, big deal days, I think, on the 10th and the 11th. Um, and I want to get my Amazon storefront, like, situated and organized. I want to see if I really go hard on my Amazon storefront. I really want to go hard on my Amazon influencer shit, okay? So I'm going to take these next two days, because what, today's the 8th? Yeah, today's the 8th, tomorrow's the 9th, so the sale starts on the 10th and 11th. So I have today or tonight and tomorrow to really, like, get together, get my storefront together. Yeah, I want to see if I go all in or go really hard on my Amazon influencer shit, how far I could go with this. So I figured this would be, like, the perfect opportunity to start because they're having the big sale um, going on on the 10th and the 11th. I know this is, like, last minute, but it's a start. So, that's what I'm going to be focused on tonight. But I'm going to blow dry my hair, throw it in a bun, and then we're just going to rock a bun for tonight. And then I'm going to order me, like I said, some tape bins. I'm going to probably, actually, I'm going to order me some Amazon tape bins. That's what I'm going to do. And hopefully, because I'm, I'm going to do Amazon Prime, so hopefully it gets here tomorrow. And then I'll do my hair tomorrow. Yes, Tony, yay. I completely forgot that I wanted to start wearing my Faha more often. This Faha that I'm about to put on right now is from this company called Statch. I had found them on Instagram back in the day. Yeah, and I think this is in a size small. Whew. But I'm able to clamp it to the last world, which is why I need to go ahead and just order me a custom Faha because this is a I think it's a small I don't think it's an extra small I think I had an extra small and I had to return it this is a small and I'm already not already I'm at this last little clamp or whatever I was looking at old videos of myself on my phone and I was like child what butt did I think that I had because it don't know butt back here and then my stomach, my stomach always had this little pooch right here. Like, I was small frame. I was small. I was, like, 15 pounds lighter than I am right now. And 15 to 20 pounds lighter than I am right now. Because I'm 140, 41, 42 pounds right now. I was, like, 120, 125 pounds with a gut, little flat booty. It was, I mean, little flat. It had a cuff down here, but it ain't had nothing up here. And yeah, so I'm pretty glad, I'm pretty happy that I um, went through surgery. And I have to say successfully because, you know, I know that that was a, a, an extremely risky surgery. And would I do it again? No. You know, any other improvements that I want with my body, I'm just going to have to work hard for it. So I already have the foundation. You know what I'm saying? You see, flat tummy, ain't got to worry about no gut. Booty, I got booty at the top and the bottom now. And anything else that I want, I just need to work hard for it. Like slimming down my arms, slimming down my waist, you know, building my side and legs. You know, that's stuff that I'm just gonna have to work hard for. So, yeah, let me get back to work. Stop being vain. One thing Najee gonna do is romanticize her goddamn food. So this is my, I just need a hot salad, call it a warm salad. It is sauteed kale, pepper, onions, salmon, broccoli, and Parmesan cheese. I had um, sauteed everything together, minus the salmon, obviously, with some white vinegar. I seasoned it as well. And yeah, this is about to be so good. And I got me some juice. I mixed the cranberry juice with pineapple juice, like 100% cranberry juice, 100% pineapple juice. And that's my little juice co concoction over there. And yeah, that is dinner for tonight. I'm stopped. 
it's a brand new day and i am about to go downstairs get me some coffee come back upstairs make some breakfast <laughs> Wow, my ass was so hungry that I forgot to show you guys my breakfast. One thing Najee gonna do, like I said last night, Najee gonna eat, okay? So yeah, I just had, I'll show you guys a picture. I just had cinnamon raisin bagel, avocado toast with actual avocado and avocado spread. So it's like double avocado. And then I had egg whites with some Parmesan cheese. And that's it, and then I got my coffee. I have on my Google Calendar my daily tasks. My tasks for today, number one was to go get coffee, eat egg white and bagel. <laughs> we got that done. Okay. This is how like detailed I have to be with my tasks in order for me to stay on track. It's ridiculous. Um, and then I need to create an invoice for one of my clients. She has a wedding coming up and well, she's a guest at a wedding and she says she wants to do bone straight part in the middle closure 30 inch wig. So I got to create an invoice for her so we can get ahead of the game for that because that's in like two weeks. And then I'm going to um, shower and get myself looking like presentable because I'm looking a mess right now. Yeah. And then after I do that, I am going to attempt to do the viral TikTok makeup video. So after everything is all clean and done, I'm going to do my makeup. And then by that time, my hair should be in. So I'm going to be doing my hair. So after I do my makeup, I'm going to do my hair, which I'm going to be recording how to install tape-ins on yourself. And then... Um, after that, after my hair and makeup is going to be done, I'm going to go ahead and record my Amazon dress reels, shorts, and TikTok. And I want all of them to be different types of content, but I'm going to be recording it. So, yeah. And then after that, I need to make me something to eat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to eat yet, um, but I do have eat. I have to remind myself to eat. And then um, after a while I'm eating, I'm going to be creating a sale. So I have this uh, two by, is it two by seven? I think it's a two by seven or two by six HD closure. And I have some bundles and I want to um, install them on someone. Like I need content for my hair page. So I'm going to create like a sale for that. Like basically they get like a comp install all they have to do is pay for the hair and you know so i have to create some type of visual or um graphic for that while i'm eating my dinner and then after that i'm going to set up my amazon storefront we're gonna be del de de deliberate and set up our amazon storefront because the sale goes on tomorrow and on the day after so that's the plan for today um that's a lot to do in one day coffee eat breakfast already done now i'm about to go ahead and create this um invoice also oh my god i'm having in the little print it says create invoice for client and then also send email to another client for an apology i have to own it i don't know how this order got archived but one of my customers orders had got archived she had just ordered um two bundles actually it was just two bundles of kinky straight hair baby if you are a subscriber or you're watching my youtube videos then i want to send a huge apology for that because she definitely ordered those two bundles about like three four weeks ago three weeks ago maybe and um i got a charge back <laughs> i got a charge back on my account so I'm going to go ahead and process that refund and send an email to her sincerely apologizing for that because I don't know how the hell that even happened. That definitely was a mishap on my part. And then uh, I'm going to still send her the bundles. So that's another thing I have to do, create an email. So two things I have to do before I take a shower is create an invoice and then send an email to my customer apologizing because maybe that is like unacceptable. And I really do appreciate any and everyone who trusts 
and me and purchase from my website because it definitely means a lot so yeah i got you girl i got you girl time to lock in for the next like 20 30 minutes A new curling iron. I, I, I've been looking for it in my damn box cutter. What the fuck? I've been looking for an edge control that works for my hair, and I saw that Aaliyah's face was using this edge control on her edges, and I like the way her edges look. So I went ahead and I went to Amazon. I went to her Amazon storefront and I purchased, I went to Amazon and I purchased this edge control. So we shall see how it works on my hair. It's called Gummy Professional Styling Wax. So hopefully this does well on my edges. Now, especially now that it's relaxed, hopefully. It smells really good too. It smells like gummy bears. Mmm, we like that. And this is the ultra hold. So hopefully, this ultra hold holds the way it needs to hold. But I kind of just want to fill them out right now. I want to see how they feel. Okay, they feel pretty good. They feel really good actually. Mmm. Super excited to do my hair. Yes, super excited to do my hair. What shade is this? Okay, I thought I was gonna have to color my hair black because I was hoping they came jet black, but I honestly don't feel like washing these and I really don't feel like coloring my hair black anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install these as is and then but I need to get a recording of this. I need to get a recording of this on my phone for TikTok. I just wanted to show you guys this wig that I revamped. She's about to pick it up right now. I was hoping that she was gonna come upstairs and then we would like layer it on her head and get like a, you know, like a full like revamp situation like before and after but she's just coming to pick it up so i wanted to show you guys like a quick before and after here's the before right there and then here is the after bruh i did the damn thing on this wig it looked so good i had like rushed and threw it up here so it kind of looks like a little messy but the color oops, the color Baby, the color is giving everything that it needs to give. The blend, everything. I am the bomb.com, okay? The bomb.motherfucking.com. I had to give myself a little to the to the toot toot. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. But yes, I literally just threw this wig on. The fucking mannequin. And just look how good she looks. Oh, I am just the bomb. <laughs> Okay, so I just got finished doing my makeup. I'm not really a blush girl. No, well, shut up. I hate when she just be growling out of nowhere. I'm not really a blush girl. Okay, yeah, I'm not really like a blush girl, so I feel kind of weird with this blush on my face. Ain't even gonna lie. I can't tell. I don't think, I don't know how I feel about my makeup right now. But I did try the viral makeup video. Just got finished doing that. I, I feel productive. Even though I'm not really feeling my makeup right now. Maybe it's because I got this white towel on my head. Maybe if I had like my hair done, I feel a little better. 
you know so that's what i'm about to do right now i'm about to go ahead and install my tape ins we had a product of day 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 now i'm about to do my tape ins so i might even use this clip in that dedicated video because that's gonna be a dedicated video of me installing the tape ins myself but yes these are the tape ins i feel like i showed you guys already but these are the tape ins from amazon and i got them i got two packs i feel like i should have got three because i normally want my hair to be full but i have some like leftover old tape ins that if i need to i'll just wash them and install them to like fill in if it needs to be filled in but i got two packs 40 pieces each, which is like 100 grams each, which is like equivalent to two bundles. But I figured since my hair is out, that can be, feel like, that can, I don't need three bundles. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and straighten my hair. Y'all, please don't judge me back down up in under heel because I don't know what it looked like. Since this towel been on for the past two hours. Woo! Ciao! I might even have to go ahead and um apply my makeup onto my <laughs> forehead because obviously I didn't do that because I had the towel. Mm, child. We're gonna do Did it come out? It sure did. The stick head like fell, so all the damn contour had came out. But I need to like contour my entire freaking forehead to make it look smaller. Damn! What did I do to deserve this? What did I do to deserve this? Damn that for AB. But it's okay. Everybody, about 95, about 90, about 80, 75 percent of people with big foreheads is absolutely gorgeous. Where did I get that number from? I don't know. But honestly, if we're just talking about like life experiences, freaking, I'd say about 95% of the people with big foreheads are absolutely gorgeous that I've met. But hey, I who is me? I who is little old me? I did one person with one version of what life looks like. Okay. That's the best that we can do right now. Mm. That just look crazy. Maybe I should put just foundation up there too. I don't know what to do. It just look crazy. Yeah, I don't know what to do. And I'm not going to stress myself because I want to get straight into doing my hair. And then we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what to do with it afterwards but first and foremost i'm gonna have to straighten my hair i washed my hair last night i shampooed my hair last night and i blow dried it but now i need to straighten it so that's exactly what i'm about to do but in the meantime i'm gonna call brandon back because brandon wanted to run his mouth because he works night shift What you want? What you want? Okay. Watch your mouth. Okay. I'm busy. I'm trying to get shit done. Okay. Okay. What you doing?
ass forehead. You see, imagine if I had some more hair up in there. This would eat. Oh, it's giving drop, drama. Give me drop drama. It's giving me like giving everything that it needs to give. Body, the bang is banging. Okay, but I do need some more hair because it's like giving super thin down here, and I don't like it. I do like my hair and the placement is on point and I get to cover my big old forehead and still look cute this is like this is like bitch where you think you're going where you going where are you going I'm going to the Grammys where are you going what where are you going I'm going somewhere once I add some more layers and add some more hair to this it's gonna eat! Ah! 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 Okay, I need to call it a night. I need to call it a morning. Ah! Oh shit, let me turn it around real quick. Let me show y'all what the back look like. Well, let me see what the back look like first. Let me see. Okay, the back is blending. The back is blending. Get a little flat that much curls going on but y'all know why who am i trying to convince y'all or myself i ain't even do the little baby hair i ain't gonna do that yet though i want to wait because I, I know i'm going to sleep and i don't want all that stuff in my hair but i'll do that another time but basically it's just gonna look like this basically it's just gonna look like that just something simple, ain't no baby hair, just a little swoop. And then this just gonna come out like that. And then that could either go that way, like back, or that can go like this way, like forward, or it could just go like straight. No, I'm probably not straight, but one of the two. I just do it like that for right now. Just like simple, just effortless. took four hours out of my day to do this and I'm like very proud of myself on myself at that and did a damn good motherfucking job so imagine what miracle I can work on you girl we about to get into the holiday spirit chat okay we are so in the spirit. I even got some Halloween, um, uh, uh, what do you call them? Poop bags? Doggy bags? Okay. And then her little outfit. Cute. This is why I cannot go to Target because I came in here for some cookies and some cider. And walking out with a gingerbread, Halloween house, some cider, some candy corn, um, decorations, just a whole bunch of extra shit that of course we're gonna do a haul and get in the house. But this is why I don't like to leave the house. Because you come out the house for one thing and then you go back. You you and then you go out. You come, um, you come out. That just threw me off. You come out for one thing, and then you go back home with three bags full of stuff. I got three bags. I'm sorry, dude. Don't make no sense. Okay, we made it back home. That's why I don't need to go outside. Introducing. Can I say your name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Let me get my camera. I did get some cider. And instead of cider? cider? Yeah. Ah, and instead of. Instead of cookies, I got a cookie house kit. Oh! Is that for us today? Yes. We're taking you to the store for one thing. I know. I got some little decorations for the house. I done got comfy. Hmm? I done got comfy. I was like, I need to charge my phone just to right here. <laughs> She's so stinking cute. Candy corn. You like candy corn? I love candy corn. That's crazy. 
crazy. You been doing life to them. I love candy corn. I can't. I, I wait for the season specifically for candy corn. What's all this? Like um, spider webs and moss. Oh, and stuff. okay. Little cute little trees. I'm so dramatic. So, so candy corn candles, scented candles. Need that. Some eyeballs. I don't know. Maybe decoration for the house. I don't know. Figure we could put our house here. Oh, balls and stuff. <laughs> so cute. Something to hang the door on the door. Be wearing for the season. This was only like three dollars. I had to get this. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Caramel corn. I mean pop popcorn. Yeah, caramelized popcorn. And then of course I have to get some plates and napkins and cups for the season. Oh. Okay. And then oh I got us these. So we can wear these. Oh! <laughs> and candy and candles and then we're gonna be wearing this all evening and then of course like some Halloween stuff so yeah it's gonna be fun tis the season to be motherfucking spooky okay oh yeah if y'all don't know who I am I'm Najee Noir so you can follow me on YouTube and Instagram at Najee Noir <laughs> and um yeah it's the Halloween tools for me oh I'm so excited for the Halloween Movie of choice? The school of good. <laughs> <laughs> and play. Do, 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 do. Oh no, wait. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. 